On behalf of myself and all of my coworkers, we were very honored to receive this award. And it was a, it was a surprise, um, but we were all very happy to win this. I first started working on Niobium in, I believe, the fall of 2017. Uh, this was Kent's PhD project and something that he dedicated a lot of time to. Um, but he had a very interesting problem uh, whenever he was looking at niobium. So these are excellent high rate materials. Um, and he was able to prove this electrochemically um, and see some very impressive performances. Um, but he wanted to understand a little bit more about the mechanism, uh, how he was able to achieve these extremely high rates in these micron scale particles. So he and I worked together to do some pulse field gradient NMR measurements, which allowed us to directly measure the lithium ion diffusion and show mechanistically how we were able to achieve such high rates in these materials. So it was a problem that really required research from different angles with different techniques. And so we used the diamond light source to understand how the redox chemistry helped. And so passing over to my colleague, Mr. Yeah, Dunn. it's interesting because uh, it is more and more clear how this type of research requires uh, different techniques and in particular the use of large scale infrastructures as diamond light source. Uh, one of the techniques that was used uh, is in practice available only at synchrotrons which is X-ray absorption spectroscopy and you know the team and the work uh, definitely made the, the best use of this. Um, it's, a, it's a clear example of these type of applications and X-ray absorption spectroscopy. And during my postdoctoral fellowship, I used my expertise in, in NMR diffusion measurements to, to monitor lithium ion diffusion in these uh, niobium tongue states uh, to understand the, the high rate capabilities that, that Kent was able to, to observe. And then we were also going to the Argon National Lab as well. Maybe you can yeah. yeah, so when I started working on these materials in, in Claire's group, um, you know, we, we discovered some really uh, interesting and, and promising um, energy storage properties, but we wanted to understand uh, how the materials were able to um, behave in the way uh, uh, to give us high rate energy storage in large particles, and so it required really a, a multimodal technique, a uh, set of techniques in order to, to get at this. So we went to the uh, advanced light source also in the United States, which is another one of these um, large and interdisciplinary uh, research facilities at the sort of national scale in order to get this uh, atomic scale picture of the materials that we, that we had made and that we had studied electrochemically and then went to uh, uh, look at with, with techniques like PFG and MR uh, and X-ray absorption spectroscopy, but we really had to put all of it together in order to finally understand what it is about these materials that enables them to uh, behave so uniquely. We had a, a wonderful series of seminars today, uh, especially Kent's keynote seminar that we had uh, this afternoon. Um, and then it was followed by a, a wonderful dinner and a, a very lovely evening. And we're honored to receive this award.